Um, I was going to say this. Chronically ill people. Um, groups on Facebook and people, you know, on social media. Chronically ill people and all the things that they complain about. All the side effects, all the symptoms and... Um, all the symptoms people complain about um, from, and they they immediately think it's their um, illness, right? Now, I've been around all sorts of uh, chronic illnesses for a few years now, and the thing is, when people are looking up their symptoms, people will look up their diseases, right? They'll have a symptom, they'll look up their disease. Whether Chiari malformation, um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, POTS, um, MCAS, on and on and on, all these chronic diseases, you'll have these symptoms and then you got everybody typing away on their phone um, to see if the symptoms fall under our diseases, right? Let's see, you look up brain fog and MCAS, brain fog and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, brain fog and Chiari malformation, for example, and or memory issues or migraines or, you know. You know what? Um, You're going to find almost all your symptoms, you're going to find those under the diseases. But you know what people don't realize is chronically ill people are often on lots of different medications, often on lots of psych medications and over-the-counter stuff. Often, the symptoms are coming from the medications. Brain fog, memory issues, confusion, migraines... ADHD, seasonal affective disorder, depression, um, what else? Uh, worsened breathing issues. Um, all these symptoms are often coming from medications. People do not realize this. What we do is, oh, we wake up with a new symptom. We run and we run and Google that with our diseases. We look up all our diseases. Often, 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 the symptoms are coming from medications or over-the-counter stuff. Um, worsened sleep. You know what the great beauty of being off medications is? Is that if I have a symptom, I know... I know right away where it's coming from usually, right? I wake up with such severe migraine today, just crushing sinus pain and migraine. It directly from the Benadryl. I used to never be able to make the connection, right? I went off medications and so many things went away, right? I'm chronically ill. But I know where the symptoms are, are are usually coming from. If I have a new symptom right, right away, that's the thing, you know. We're not trained for that. We're not. If you go into a, a doctor's office and you're chronically ill and you've got a new symptom, the first thing they ask or the first thing they look at is your medication list. That's the first go-to, and then your diseases. And very often, very, very often, with the doctors, that I, all the doctors I had, when you're presenting symptoms and stuff, I feel like most doctors won't say, oh, that's because uh, the, you know, uh, maybe that's the antidepressant you're taking. Maybe that's the sleeping pill you're taking. Maybe. I think they often just are quiet about this. I have a very difficult time being in chronic Ill illness groups 
because people don't want to hear that your medications might be making you sick. They, the go-to is they want to believe it's their diseases. Like literally, all sorts of things. Um, you know, it can be your pain medication, your uh, anti-anxiety medication, your antidepressant, your mood stabilizer, your, you know, this, that, the other thing. Your antihistamine can cause all sorts of issues. Restless leg, you know, uh, melatonin can cause tinnitus and restless leg syndrome. The go-to in, in the minds of chronic illness, people with chronic illness, the go-to for their symptoms is their disease, but often it's medication. 